before I was a priest, I was a news cameraman in the Gulf War and I worked in, in media for 14 years. Before I was a priest, I did a number of things, worked for World Expo, did a bit of labouring, but mostly I studied to be a primary school teacher. I was a checkout chap at Woolworths. They gave me a heap of pastoral experience dealing with every sort of different person as I was heading to the seminary. Before I was a priest, I studied to be a primary school teacher, but then moved into hospital administration for about eight years. My early working life began in the railway workshops at Ipswich some 40 years ago, preparing me for my time in the public service in Brisbane. Before I was a priest, I was an electrician, but I heard God calling me to spread the light in a different way. Before I was a priest, um, I was a professional tennis player, um, highly ranked uh, for my age growing up, ever since the age of 10, nationally ranked. Uh, then at 18, I played in the Australian Open and I played on centre court against the world number one at the time uh, and had a very good match with him. At 19, I contracted a disease called Guillain-Barre syndrome, uh, which left me totally paralysed within 24 hours. And I took a long time to recover from that, three years, where I had three years in a wheelchair. And um, what that uh, disease has taught me, it's had a huge influence on my life uh, in that it's made me more grateful for every single thing I have. I'm grateful for breathing, I'm grateful for being able to talk, I'm grateful for being able to walk, being able to move my arms. Uh, I'm grateful for everything. The air I breathe, the food I eat, the water I drink. And um, of course I take that into my priestly life and that I'm living a life of thanksgiving, thanking God for every single gift that God lavishes upon us.